So a bunch of you have been watching these videos every day. Um, it's been good getting a bit of feedback on what's working, what's not. Um, someone got in contact and told us that uh, for those suffering with epilepsy, jumping between the black and white and the coloured bits uh, isn't very helpful. So this is going to be all in colour. So we are listening uh, and appreciate that feedback. But today I'm going to talk about... Um, bold claims and Jesus makes a really bold claim in the in the days and weeks before um, before Easter if any of you are boxing fans you may have watched uh, Dylan White beat Povetkin I think that's how you pronounce his name um, uh, at the weekend okay, fight both heavyweight boxers um, they fought uh, last year and Povetkin had won uh, knocked White out and Povetkin's only ever lost twice in his career to Anthony Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko who are fairly decent boxers um, but Dylan White made this really bold claim he said that he was going to stop Povetkin Povetkin uh, quicker than anyone has ever stopped him. So only two people have ever beaten him before. Uh, White lost to him. Um, and White's making this really bold claim that he is going to knock this guy out, finish the fight quicker than anyone's ever beaten him before. It's big claim, big bold claim. And yet he did it. He won the fight. Some of you may also have heard of a guy called Lee Herbert. Um, you probably don't know his name, but you probably have heard of him. So back in um, 2015, uh, he put on a bet, a uh, five pound bet, that his team, Leicester City, would win the Premiership. Uh, the season before, they'd almost got relegated. They managed to just scrape by and ended up finishing 14th. But the idea, this 5,000 to one shot, that Leicester, Leicester City would win the Premier League, uh, crazy bit. Big bull claim. And yet they lifted the trophy. Gary Lineker is a Leicester City fan, danced about in his pants. Uh, that was his bet. But um, yeah, these are big bull claims. Um, and yet Jesus makes a big bold claim. Now those are big bold claims, but what if you predicted that you were going to die and then you're going to come back to life. <laughs> that is a big, bold claim, if ever there was one. But Matthew writes in his uh, account of Jesus' life, the Gospel of gone into Matthew, he writes this. Now as Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside and said to them, We're going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be betrayed to the chief priests and the teachers of the law. They will condemn him to death and turn him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified. On the third day he will be raised to life. Those are big bold claims. I'm going to die. This is how it's going to happen. I'm going to die. And then I'll come back to life. And that's exactly what happened. I'll see you tomorrow.